So for this video, we're going to focus on creating a new variable. And I'm going to create a new variable using a situation that may be more complex than some situations that you may experience. Um, so this particular variable at 2017 underscore life expect is a named variable that happened to come along with SPSS on the import. And SPSS, I believe, named it that because SPSS doesn't like variables that have a number to start off at the beginning, like many stat programs. However, the data set ex it first started in Excel, which allowed that. So we now have to deal with it. So how are we going to potentially deal with it? Well, there are a variety of ways to dealing with it, and um, we'll talk about that here in a second. We've got a variable here named life expect 1990. Now, this represents the 1990 life expectancy. The other variable represents the 2017 life expectancy. So we may be interested with a research question that's trying to figure out which counties gain the most in life expectancy over like the last 30 years or so or 27 years and which counties lost the, the most life expectancy or didn't gain any life expectancy. So how are we going to address that or how are we going to maybe even model what factors are associated with an increase in life expectancy or a decrease. So we have to create a new variable. So when we want to create a new variable there may be a way under task and utilities and then clicking on data and using one of these options in SAS Studio, but um, those may not be as easily done as we could potentially do if I go, I clicked off task and went to utilities. So click on utilities and then open up SAS program. So, this is operating more like traditional SAS here. So we're going to create a new variable. Now, how are we going to create this new variable? Well, we have to tell it where we want to put it. When, you know, so we're kind of working backwards here a little bit. So we're going to tell it, you know, create a new variable and we're going to say data. Um, and we want it to be, we'll just call it work dot, uh, you know, We'll call it expect change. Work dot expect change. So that's the change in life expectancy here. Whenever I finish a statement here, I need to hit the semicolon button. All right. And now some people tab in. I don't think it's obligatory, but I'm going to now set kind of where are the data coming to create this new spreadsheet, essentially. That's what this work.expect change is going to be. It's going to be a new spreadsheet that's almost just like that starting one, except it's going to include, it's going to include in it um, this new variable. So I'm going to tell it first where are the data coming from, and it's going to be set, and it's coming from, I'm going to click on work, and then dot, and when I click on dot, import three is the variable or not variable but is the um, is the data set associated with that when I imported it I could go back and look at when I brought this thing in you know the code that brought this thing in was work.import3 so set work.import3 notice when I type this in it gave me work as an option and I typed in dot and I started typing m didn't come up on its own this time. So, so work dot and it came up on its own. Now I can click on import three. Then I have to add a semicolon after that. Now here's where I get to create whatever variable name I want to call it. So we'll call it, you know, um, change expect. We can call it expect change, but this is going to be the actual variable name in the actual new spreadsheet that's created. So change expect 
and what does this equal? Well, it's going to equal, and we're going to tell it it's going to equal the 2017 life, or I think there's an underscore there. And there was an at too. You have to have the exact variable name in here. 2017 underscore life expect minus, and then I believe it's just 19, or and then it's just life expect 1990. And all the capitalizations and everything have to be just right. And even with all this said, I know there's one little mistake in here. So I'm gonna let you actually look at the output data um, from big combined 1990 data set right there. And when we look at it, we can see at 2017 underscore life expect. So at 2017 underscore life expect. We have a code sheet handy. Sometimes that can make this a little easier. Um, and then the other variable is the 1990 life expectancy. So I have to find it. It's life and then capital E expect 1990. So I can zoom in there so you can see it a little bit more clearly. Now there's a flaw because of this particular goofy named variable. But once we're done with that, we should be able to hit run and that will try to run this program. I've got the run statement. I still have to hit the running man. And when I do that, we are gonna get an attempt it made some attempt to create these things. There's a change in life expectancy variable. It tried to create it, but there's no numbers here. So there's something going on. So I can actually look at the log and I'm going to see all this red text. So it's saying that it, something's goofy here. Now, expecting an arithmetic expression. It's like, well, that is an arithmetic expression. The symbol is not recognized and will be ignored. Probably dealing with that at symbol. So, I know what to do, but I'm going to show you a trick in case you ever forget what to do if you're using SAS Studio. So I clicked on big combine 1990 underscore 97 underscore 2019 data set. And I'm going to open up the task and I'm going to run the stats really quick. And we'll just do summary statistics on this variable called at 2017 life expectancy. And when I click on the summary stats for it, you can see there's a, it's trying to run the proc means on it, but how does it deal with this variable? It's giving it this little um, apostrophe symbol and then another apostrophe symbol at the end of it and then an N. And then you could click on run and it'll give you the average life expectancy. But I, I'm only looking at that because when I look at my program, so I clicked on program up here, I turned off summary stats, clicking on program up here, and when I look at my code, there's a problem here. I need to add this apostrophe before, this apostrophe after, and then I'm also gonna type in an N, and it turns it that blue-green color, and we should be ready to roll. Now, there's one more issue that we're gonna encounter, and I'm gonna show you how to deal with that here in a second, but I wanna run it so you can see what these errors are. So, it tried to run, it's given me these errors about with specified for format F is invalid. There's nothing showing up in the results, so I can go back to the code and fix the problem. Now, this is a catch-all solution. There could be consequences um, to the data set that's being created. So we're putting it all into a new data set called um, work.expectChange and it's going to take all of this information from here from work.import3 which is our big combined data set and it's going to put it all into a new work.expectChange you know, program. It's going to run it. It's going to put all this into a spreadsheet called work.expectchange. When it does that, it's doing this format all. So if, you, if there's timestamp data and that kind of stuff or some unique coding that's being done on the previous data where it came from, you might lo not lose some of it, but it might change some of that. But this overall, for me, it tends to help me out more than harm me. So 
I'm going to click on format or type in format space underscore a l l underscore and then the semicolon and then run and when I do that now everything works it could take a person a lot of hours trying to figure this stuff out you know and I've been lucky to have enough experience with this program to kind of have a way of figuring out some of these things and trying to impart that upon you so you can not have to you know spend so much time arguing with the program as much as you can spend actually enjoying how great this program has actually become so SAS Studio has really revolutionized people's ability to use this so I click on change expect which is our new variable that we had created um, so it's our last column and when I pull it up I can see these changes in life expectancy for these various counties in the United States I can click on it and it's a sortable number so when I click on it these counties have the highest life expectancy gains since 1990 some gaining as much as 18.28 years on the other hand unfortunately as you all know from previously using this when we were using a different stat program you will see that some counties in the United States have actually lost life expectancy not many but a considerable number um, so you can study the factors associated with why they gain or lost life expectancy so I'm going to go back and we're going to code um, one more variable we can write over top of that expect change data set that we just created we can create a new variable we'll do a log HH income so that's what I'm calling it I can call it whatever I want but we'll call it log HH income and we have a variable in that data set called household income so the command I'm going to just type in equals log if I just do log household income what I'm going to need to do here is instead of log I'm going to call this like LN underscore HH income because that's the natural log like log base 2 I believe so um, and then I can create another one if I want to we can do you know log 10 income log 10 underscore income equals log 10 hopefully it does the blue when I see the blue that tells me it knows it's a mathematical command household income if there's a gap here it may not work I'm just going to try it with a gap there and see what happens so the log 10 function caused too many arguments something's up so let me get rid of that gap and then run so it's very particular about that little gap there I think so again the log 10 function call has too many arguments so something is wrong let me put the gap back in there just to see if the gaps causing a problem but the log there's a gap there in the variable name so all right I'm just toying around here to give you guys the experience when to turn those last two on it created them natural log household income log 10 household income so there they are so this one if you do 10 to the 4.76 power um, you'd be able to get the income and it's there on a log scale you could actually you know if you wanted to you can uh, look at a uh, graph we can play around with those here in, a, in the next slide we can create a histogram um, you know so I can create a histogram and now instead of work.import3 I don't want to use work.import3 I just created this new one called uh, expect change and I can now find my new variables that I just created there so I can make a histogram of this new variable that I just created and it's already populated it all with the command that I want. I can hit the running man and we can then view our 
figure here our histogram of the log 10 household income. If I want to save that, I can click on this. It brings up a new image. I can then right click it, copy the image. I can save the image. If I copy it, I can paste it into a Word document. I mean, this program has really revolutionized the ability for people to be able to use SAS in a meaningful way. And right now, it's free for you to be able to use uh, through uh, the On Demand for Academics. So enjoy, and uh, we'll have uh, some more videos here in the future on some different graph options.